Last session, we talked about data blending's foundations. We saw how it works behind the scene. We saw it on a slide and then we saw it in data studio as well. And we also talked about the first type of join left out a join, but we also understood that there are more joins available in data studio. And today we are going to talk about join types, the rest of the joins that are available in data studio. But at first, we start again from left join and some examples because in the last session, we didn't get the time to go through the examples. Data modeling, data blending part two, join types. What is data blending? We saw that in Data Studio for one chart, we can only use one data source. This is a rule and it cannot change. It hasn't changed at all. When we add a chart to our data studio canvas, we get one option to assign a data source to that chart under the data. There is unlike metrics and dimensions, we cannot add two or more data sources, but we have the option to blend data and blend data. It means that we can get more than one data source somehow, according to some criteria, according to some kind of join keys and join conditions. Blend them together so they will become one blended data source. And now because we have one blended data source, we can connect it to that single chart that we have. Originally, when data blending was introduced, there were some limitations. The first limitation is that we can blend up to five data sources. The second one was that it only supported left join. And the final one was that the same join key needed to be present on all of the different joins that we have. So if you had five data sources, the join key must have been the same. Now, we are still have the limitation of five data set, but multiple keys across different joins and we can have multiple join types as well. Left outer join, right outer, inner, full outer, and cross join. Data has tried to show with kind of an schema how different join types work. And this is something that every tutorial or resource that you find on the internet that talks about SQL joins, usually they use something like these two overlapping circles to talk about the type of join being described. Now, in addition to left out to join, we have right, inner, full, and cross join, which we will talk about today. Another improvement, which we talked about, is different join condition between tables. Now that we have access to different kind of join types, if we have more than two tables to join, we can decide that the first one and the second one here, we want a left join condition. And now between these two, we want a full outer join or we want a cross join. And on the other table, we might want to use another join type. Not only we have access to more join types, but we are more flexible in the way that we can mix and match different join types between different tables. With that, let's, Take a look at different join types in Data Studio. 